Hey everyone and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey and today we're going to be installing MinUI on the TrimUI Smart Pro. I've gotten word that TrimUI started to ship out units in the next few days and I know Sean at MinUI was very quick to get this working so I want to get a guide out just to show you how to install it, what it is, and if it's something that might be good for you when you get your TrimUI Smart Pro in. So first up, this is a super light firmware and the entire thing takes up only a few megabytes, but also there's not a lot of settings or anything. It's minimal, as the name suggests. This is perfect for anyone that just gets confused by the amount of options that exist in normal firmwares, and this is a perfect just pick up and play firmware, very similar to Onion OS in that way. You still get in-game save states, load states, and all of that, as well as a quick resume, so if you power off while in a game, it brings you right back, and that's kind of it. So what's the actual downsides here? And first off, there's no Wi-Fi. So there's no connection to Wi-Fi. So you lose that for retro achievements and really anything else you would use Wi-Fi for, which on the original firmware would really only be retro achievements. Second, there's no LED adjustments. So right now it's just dimmed out and it doesn't show an LED at all. So if one of the things you were looking forward to is having LEDs on this device, then MinUI might not be for you. And lastly, it supports less systems than the original firmware does. So for example, right now, you can basically play the Game Boys, Super Nintendo, uh, Game Gear, PlayStation, and all of that, and I'll leave the list on screen. But what it can't play is Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, PSP, and Nintendo DS. Personally, outside of DS, I'd argue that the other systems don't play well on this device anyways, so I wouldn't really look at them as negatives. But for some people that want to play those systems and don't mind the issues with frame rate and all of that, then just be aware that this might not be the firmware for you. So anyway, with all that out of the way, let's get into the setup guide and show you how to actually do this. First thing we need to do is head to the MinUI GitHub page and I'll link that in the description along with everything else that I'll mention today, so just check back in case you can't find something. Then head to the releases section on the right. You'll want to download the most recent release, which as of this video is 2023 11 12b-0. Grab both zip files, the base and the extras. Once downloaded, head to where they are and extract the base zip file first. Then extract the extras zip file and overwrite anything that it says. Now connect your SD card to your PC and I'd probably suggest a 128 gigabyte one for this. And if you need a recommendation, check out my description again. Download Rufus if you don't already have it. Open Rufus and we're going to be formatting the SD card. So just change the boot selection to non-bootable. And you can rename the volume label if you'd like. Then click start and OK to any warnings. When that's done in very true fashion to what minimal UI would be, all we're going to be doing is copying all the files we extracted and paste them onto your SD card. Safely eject and pop it into your turned off TrimUI Smart Pro. You should get a screen about installing MinUI, And then you'll see a tools option. Power off the device by pushing and holding the power button on the top and eject your SD card and pop it back into your PC. Let's add some ROMs and BIOS to this. If you don't already have a ROMs and BIOS collection, I have a video on that subject to help you out. The main necessary one here is the PlayStation 1 BIOS. 
which has to be the PSX on PSP 660.bin file, and it has to be in lowercase letters. Anyway, copy that file over to the BIOS PS folder. Then head to ROMs and you can copy your ROM files for each system to the corresponding folder. Once that's done, safely eject and pop your SD card back into the Trim UI and turn it on. To change the brightness, hold the menu button and push the volume buttons. You should now see a whole list of systems and games inside for whatever you added. One other neat thing that you can do is add collections, which is basically a list of games you create for whatever purpose. It could be just your favorites, or all Pokemon games, or something like that, just a group of games. To do so, with your SD card back in your PC, create a folder called Collections on the root of the SD card. And inside, create a text file with whatever name you want the collection to be, and show in the firmware. Mine is just called Joey's Favorites. Open up the text file, and you want to add the full path of your game. And you can start it with slash rom slash, like I have here. And make sure all the rest is exactly as it shows on your SD card. Pretty simple stuff. If you do all of that and jump back into the firmware, you'll see the collection submenu and your collection and the games. That's really all you need to do with this firmware. Just go ahead and start playing, push the menu button whenever you need to, to save state, load state, change any other settings if you wanted to, but otherwise everything's pretty much just configured out of the box properly. That was all I really wanted to show in this video, so it's an easy one. Let me know in the comments below if you'll end up switching to MinUI over the original firmware. I know a lot of people love MinUI and so it's great to see it supported here on this device. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow and hope you all have a good one.